Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the, uh, <laughs> I was going to say the beautiful Texas Gulf Coast, but uh, we switch things up a little bit. Doing the freshwater thing here in Lake Conroe, and I'm going to go after some ditch pickles, maybe a few hybrids. We'll troll the open water if the early morning bite against the bank does not work out. Going to do it without the hummingbird. So... Freshwater fishing for me is a little bit tough without eyes under the water, but we're gonna just give it a good go, see how it is that we can do. So uh, thank you for clicking on my video today. I hope you enjoy bass to my bass crowd. I, it, it's something that I want to develop a bass crowd and uh, everything that I did in Virginia. I hope that y'all enjoyed it for the freshwater fishing stuff over there. It's going to be something that I'm going to try to do regularly, so I am not going to alienate y'all. At least two to three videos a month bass fishing coming up here to do this. All right, intro has gone on way too long. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Mm, not too sure what I want to use. Okay, we're going to swap this fella out for a jig and crawl. I definitely want to make that happen check this out right here green pumpkin this is a bass jig from bugs fishing a lot of you freshwater guys probably never even heard of this before and uh, hopefully today we're going to put it on the map let's see here we go if you're tired of the usual silicone, latex, whatever they make the uh, current bass jigs out of, and you want something with tons of action, you can go for this fella right here. This is rabbit fur. And uh, I've never caught a fish with one of these. Here we go. We're going to try it for the first time and let's see what we can do. Uh, this is our first freshwater trip on the autopilot 136 we should be able to just fish the way we would on a normal bass boat get that rudder just going straight back and or straight forward let that sink down oh man i don't know what that was but somebody's having a bad day whoever just got busted up on There's the bite. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. <clears throat> that, I was just looking at my knot. Y'all saw me playing with my line. Not my knot, but I was looking at my line and I was like, wow, it's got an abrasion in it. Oh my gosh, Mark. When are you ever gonna learn, dude? When are you ever, ever gonna learn? Don't be lazy, people. I yeah. <laughs> Y'all have heard me say that several times. Don't be lazy. You gotta retie. That is the reason why. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, that's a tough one to swallow, especially whenever you're trying to get on the board. Thank goodness we don't fish tournaments because uh, those type of moves loses them for you. Back at it again. Let's see. If we can get something else to bite. I mean, I don't think that fella is going to be dumb enough to bite again, but I mean, you never know. Okay. Last cast. Last cast right there. Last cast. Last call. Let's go fish. Uh oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh yeah, did y'all see that? That fella is a big one. Let's grab the ego net. No, no, I don't want you to jump. Finally, if this fella has got another hook inside his mouth, 
that is going to be something else to yeah whoo nice three pounder oh son glutton choke that hook oh my gosh look at that <laughs> beautiful healthy chunky bass right there too all righty ladies and gentlemen let's get this fella unhooked and we'll send him on his way this one's going to be a tough one because He's, uh, yeah, he got that hook all the way back there. There we go. You gotta love the forceps. Oh, that's a solid two and a half, three pound bass right there. Spectacular catch. There's the fight. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Another little fella right there. Nice little spotted bass. Oh, barely. Barely, barely, barely. Okay, no, no, no. I don't need you. That's what I knew was going to happen. Barely had him hooked. Gorgeous. These guys are nice and hefty, man. They got a lot of weight to them. Super good looking bass right there. Nice spot. There's the thump. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Hello, little buddy. How you doing today? I bet you you'd like to say um, I'd be doing a little bit better if you put me back in the water and no need to worry because that's exactly what we're gonna do not bad at all little to no color come back whenever you get prettier see who's texting us that was my editor Christian my son my oldest son we got flagged for a copyright claim on the latest video that's supposed to be released the one okay so as you're watching this one it's the one that y'all just saw before this one so we gotta re-edit the video and choose a different track for uh, music oh man what the heck just happened bro all right let's see if this bridge is going to produce anything else I kicked myself because I had a red eye shad, the one that I bought going to the James River, and I left it at the house. I thought I grabbed all my freshwater tackle. Uh oh, there we go. Um, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yes, I knew somebody was gonna be in here taking refuge from that sun. I was like, man, if I want to take refuge from the sun, I need to get under the bridge. And I was like, surely somebody else is going to be in there too. He's like doing his mouth, trying to spit the hook. <laughs> All righty. There we go. Look at that beautiful largemouth right there. These are the nice size right here to catch. They put up a nice fight on the ultralight. And uh, actually that's a light action rod right there with a custom light lose. These fellas, spectacular. 
Man, oh man. That's two right here at the bridge. Not bad. Got him on that shaky head. This is what's been putting in the overtime today. This guy, a black finesse worm with a shaky head hook. All right. He kind of ripped it up. Let's see if we can re-thread it and continue using the fella. We got a culvert right over there. This little back corner. I think it looks really good. We got a great chance of bringing in maybe one or two of them right here. I'm in a spot lock over there at that edge and the wind can just do its thing whatever it wants to do i don't care spot lock will take care of me i want to fish that culvert though so almost there come on a little bit more come on buddy a little bit more right about there spot locked Oh, just at a casting distance. Okay, I am done with this one. Let's cast the shaky head again. That's the one that I think is going to get the bite. I mean, it's been on fire the entire day. Every fish that we've caught, uh, with exception to the bluegill, has come from the shaky head right there. Oh, we got him. I knew we were gonna get one here. Spot lock it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get in the boat, baby. Oh my gosh, yes. Here we go, two and a half pounder right there, boy. Violent fella. Oh, wowzers. There we go. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Largey right there. Gorgeous. This is going to be the thumbnail, probably. All right, there we go. Man, these guys are super healthy. That's, yeah, two and a half, three pounds. Need you to go right back. Continue getting big, my friend. Wow. Spectacular catch right there. We're going to chop a little bit more of the worm off. Probably about three more segments. Right there. And we'll continue using it. Oh, what a, what a great catch. All right, one last cast, and then we're going to move on. Go hit the rest of this bank over here. Lots of tall grass. That looks really good. I'm going to probably fish something that uh, swims a little bit faster than what I've got right now because what I'm going to try to do is imitate a minnow just swimming alongside that grass. A paddle tail would be perfect. I mean, I got that little slab alicious, but I want something that makes more wake. So, oh, you know what? I said last cast. So here we go. Let's move on. Um... We'll try this just for a little bit, and then if it doesn't get any bites after about 10-15 minutes of casting, then we'll uh, probably go to a big paddle tail. Oh my gosh, one o'clock. I didn't expect it to be that late. Making our way back to the ramp, and uh, gonna head over to Old 18 Outfitters. I got a few of the Arius rods that we're gonna pick up today, and I am super excited to see the work that Jake has put into them. So let's get over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for the day. Check that out. All four of my Arius rods, the old 18. I am super stoked to have these guys finally oh my gosh it's been so long but all because of the whole virus situation uh, we weren't able to get everything in but now that i do have these we've got an ultralight in casting and spinning and then a light action casting spinning i'm going to re-rig 
uh, the lose and get these rods outfitted, set up, and uh, the very next video that we do, we're going to be putting these guys into some action. Thank y'all so much for tagging along on today's adventure. I really appreciate it. Uh, as I said earlier in the intro, I think I said it in the intro, I'm going to continuously uh, do some bass fishing at least three videos a month. That's going to be my goal and hopefully we can build a bass audience. So for those of you all that love bass fishing, there's going to be more content to come. So uh, just stay tuned for everyone else that decided to click on the video and watch because of the autopilot 136. Do me a favor, stick around for a little bit, watch some of my other videos. I have a playlist for the Old Town Autopilot 120. You can definitely check that out and see what the channel is about and expect more to come for, from the 136, similar to what I've done with the Autopilot 120. So uh, I will be letting y'all know throughout the uh, videos that I do drop what I like, what I don't like about the Autopilot 136. And uh, yeah, so it's my hope that bef before you like leave the channel or what have you, you'll become a subscriber and uh, that would definitely be awesome. All right, so that's gonna do it. If y'all like the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.